And as the station that holds people in power accountable, we had some things to ask the county executive today about money Erie County will get from the federal American Rescue Plan. The county got the first chunk of what will eventually be $123 million. And County Executive Mark Polenkars today outlined how he thinks it should be spent. We hear more from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. The county executive says more than half of the county's initial allotment of $89 million can be spent to make up for so-called revenue losses sustained by the county from the pandemic. So we can use that for any governmental purpose that we see fit. His spending spree would include $14 million for improvements to county parks. This is the largest investment in Erie County Parks since the WPA projects of the 1930s. He proposes spending millions more on water and sewer projects and improvements to existing county facilities. And as they say on the late night infomercials, that's not all folks. Poland Cars wants to pay up to $6 million in bonuses to employees who worked during the pandemic and grow the size of government by restoring and adding a combined total of more than 140 county jobs. That's something some governments have been reluctant to do with pandemic funds because those positions will have to be funded in future years when there won't be any windfall from the federal government. You still have to pay for those in the future. So what's the plan there? Our goal is, is to ensure that these are jobs that we can afford in the future. That's why there's not a thousand new jobs in county government. And we believe based on the expectation for revenue growth associated with our housing market from property taxes, as well as sales tax growth, we will easily be able to afford these positions in the future. Adding 142 jobs, doesn't sound like something we should be doing. County legislator Joe Larigo hoped to hear something about tax relief for county residents. And when you see, you know, politicians standing up there at a podium laughing about how they're spending all this money, it's kind of insulting to the hardworking men, you know, men and women of, of the community. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.